This one rocket was supposed to launch into outer orbit this morning. The launch, though, scrubbed because of an issue with one of the engines. News 5's Devin Karp spoke with the Space Foundation and a former astronaut to learn more about what this means for the future of the Artemis mission. Devin. Diane, when it comes to rocket science, you can never be too careful. Experts in the field see scrubbing a launch as a positive thing for the mission. They're still excited about the Artemis taking humanity to the moon and beyond. What we saw this morning was a scrub, and a scrub is one of those things that you find in the space business happens a lot. Artemis 1 was set to take off into the stars this morning. It's supposed to be NASA's first mission back to the moon since the Apollo days. Instead, 40 minutes before liftoff, NASA had to make a tough call. They stopped, or scrubbed, the launch. Put all of these pieces together, fuel them, put them all together, and something didn't go the way that they wanted, so they stopped. They took a look at it because they're not going to launch until it's safe and until it's sound. Rich Cooper at the Space Foundation used to work for NASA. He says that one of the engine thrusters was having trouble cooling before launch, likely due to a leak of liquid hydrogen. Engineers are going to spend this week looking at the issue. And after that, we'll go. The Artemis 1 is an uncrewed rocket that's going to loop around the moon and back. Artemis 2 would do that with a crew of astronauts. After that, NASA plans for Artemis 3 to put the first woman and person of color on the moon, all to establish a lunar base. I was involved in a lot of launches, as you might imagine, at NASA. Dwayne Carey is a former Air Force fighter pilot and astronaut. NASA called me up one day and wanted me to fly the space shuttle. And uh, whoever says no to an opportunity like that. He flew the Columbia STS-109 on a mission to the Hubble telescope in 2002. Gary's had several launch days that were scrubbed and actually says it's a positive development. I would consider um, almost every scrub to be not a failure but a success because it shows that we have, we have rules in effect and we don't make off the cuff or from the hip decisions. Artemis 1 is set to relaunch Friday morning at 1045 a.m. Mountain Time. If you want to tune in, we have a link at our website at koaa.com. Alan?